Video surveillance market is growing. That means more and more installers are moving toward that solutions. So more installations, more people in the industry, and more technical questions. So we're doing kind of a back to basic where we're going to explain what kind of different technologies you can find in video surveillance and what to choose from there. And today it's about NVR versus DVR. Let's get to it. So let's start with the DVR side, which is the digital video recorder. The way it works is it's working with analog camera. So you have a BNC cable that works with the BNC output from the camera and the 16 BNC outputs from the NVR that we have right here. So you can connect them with a BNC F cable. And the way it works is that the camera itself will send its video streaming to the DVR and the DVR will do all the processing. That's the main difference when we're talking about DVR versus NVR. Now, one thing to note here is that this cable only sends the video stream. So you need an additional power supply to power up your cameras. That means that if you have multiple cameras, like in this example, you have 16 on your DVR, you maybe need an external power supply to element uh, all your cameras there. Now, this can be problematic when we're talking about scale scalability. So you're doing a big project, you have this DVR and you want to install more cameras. Well, that means you need to install another DVR and maybe another power supply. So if it's not close one to another. So as you can see, it's not ideal for big solution. Next up would be the resolution of the camera. With the analog technology, you can go up to five megapixels for your camera. Again, what we suggest when using a DVR like this one is mostly when you're doing an old building installation and analog technology is already installed. So you can buy a DVR and kind of connect all your cameras from there and build your project. It's going to work perfectly fine. Analog technology is great, but it has its limitation. Now we're going to jump on the NVR side. Now when we're talking about NVR, so network video recorder, the difference here is you're using IP technology. So you're using a Cat5 cable to connect your camera to your NVR. So as you can see here, you have your Ethernet output and same thing here. So you have eight Ethernet output inside of your NVR. So it's similar to using a PoE switch. The way it works is you connect the camera to the NVR. So using a Cat5 cable. And now what you have is that the camera is processing the video information. So it's doing all the processing where inside the camera and the video goes to the NVR to store the information. And the big difference, as I mentioned before, that the DVR, you need external power supply. Well, here you can have them, but you don't need them because the POE technology means that you're also through the same wire giving the video stream, but also the electrical power. So you're powering up your camera solutions. So your eight cameras can be powered by a single NVR. Now we're talking about video resolution that here it has its limitation, but honestly on IP camera side, there is no real limitation. You can have 4K cameras, 8K cameras, you can have 16 megapixel cameras and everything will work with your NVR. Another point that we need to make is the scalability again with an NVR like you have here, if you're doing a big scale project, well, as I mentioned, you can use external POE switch. So you don't need to just use the NVR right here. You can do a daisy chain and install your NVR connected to an external POE switch of 16, 32 parts and add this much cameras to your system. And it can scale pretty much infinitely if you're using multiple switches. At the end of the day, they're both video recorders. So one is using digital technology. The other one is using network technology. As you can see on the rear panel, they're using the same outputs. So you have USB outputs, so you can connect mouse and keyboards to your video recorder. You have a HDMI output, so you can monitor in high resolution. And you have an Ethernet output, so in both cases, you can view your cameras on the web. The only difference is the BNC outputs versus the PoE outputs. If you look at them this way, 
is video recorders. It depends on the technology that is used in an installation. So as I mentioned, if we're looking at an older building, so an older installation, there are already analog cables inside the wall. There are already a lot of power supplies and you get asked to upgrade the system. So you want to change the cameras to a five megapixel cameras instead of a one megapixel. So you can upgrade it that way while also changing the DVR. Now, this is cost effective because again, you keep everything. The only difference is you have new devices to install and it's really easy to do when we're talking about analog technology using a DVR. Now, if you have an open space, meaning you have a big playground, it's a new installation, you wanna put a new system, we always recommend going with IP solution because again, it's scalable. You can change it over time. It's easier to do. You don't need a power supply. You can just use the CAT5 cable and you don't have any kind of limitation. So if you want to add up a 4K camera to it, a two megapixel camera, a 16 megapixel, well, you can use the same NVR all the way through. And if you want to add more cameras because you're NVR, so network video recorder only has eight ports, well, you can add a PoE switch with 32 parts. Again, it makes the job easier when you have to come back to an installation site.